I'm going to show you how to do the blended mix. So for the blending, we need both coarse and fine. I recommend starting with an empty bucket and tearing it. You want to batch out both, again, coarse and fine separately. You'll see that you get a lot of sand on the top of the course in the bottom, and we need to intermix it. But you want to try to get it as equally dispersed and mixed as you can. So again, as you see now, we've got a good mixture of sand and coarse intermixed together. And you want to add it to your unit weight bucket as a blended composite. For this one, again, this is for coarse aggregate. We're going to fill it with coarse and sand. And you want to fill it one third the height. All right, when you're there, you want to take a rod. This is the large diameter rod of 5 8 inch. And you want to rod it 25 times. We'll then fill it to the next one third of the height. For the third lift, all the way to the top. And then you want it to level to keep it as many voids down as there are aggregates coming up. Tear it without anything on it and then weigh the unit weight bucket with the aggregates blended and rotted. So you want to write down that weight. If you're going to do 100% coarse aggregate, you need to do 100% coarse aggregate in the larger container. And when you do 100% sand, you do that one only in this small container. It's the same technique for finishing it. And you want to write down that number. Now to figure out the volume, fill it up with water all the way to the top, and then we weigh it again on the scale. And when you go back to calculate it, you can subtract the weight of the bucket, now that you know what that was. And then the way of the water, you can use the density to figure out the volume that it occupied. When you finish this lab, you can dump out the water and return all the materials back to where they belong. Anything that you didn't pre-mix can go back to its original bins. And anything that you did mix together needs to go in the trash. <laughs>